Welcome, welcome Hookaholics. Another episode of Foul Mouth Fishing. Um, today's the 1st of May. Uh, beautiful day that wasn't supposed to be, and I actually was sent yesterday that we didn't go into work today. I gotta make up for it tomorrow, so my weekend shot. But uh, we're supposed to get terrible weather uh, that's been pushed off um, now until later this evening, which means this was kind of like a waste of day. But, good for me, I was home when the mailman knocked and brought this. This is my angler's haul. Uh, I'm going to say this is my angler's haul for April. Somewhat delayed with the uh, COVID-19 issues, shipping and, and everything. Uh, and, of course, merchandise supply chains. Uh, being iffy at the time, uh, this was sort of pseudo delayed, so uh, it's a little bit late, but better late than never, as always. So let's crack into this. Um, let me get a nice <laughs> unprepared, as always. All right, so got a trusty blade. We will crack into this. Now, this obviously is a different box than a custom. Typically, we get the white boxes that'll say Angler's Hall Advanced, but I know where it's from because it says Hunter's Hall up there in Tremont, Utah, and that's where Angler's Hall comes from. So, let's see if we got a card in here. Occasionally you'll get shipped boxes that aren't exactly the same as, as uh, your typical box. But, nevertheless, what's in the crate card you got there? Again, I get the advanced... Uh, box, not just the Pro Box, so I get all the Pro Box tier items, and then they add to that a few extra items to increase my value. So uh, I'm going to pour this out on the floor because I have no better place to put it <coughs> down here and uh, make a make an absolute mess with all of this <laughs> packing paper. But we will we'll care about that later. Ooh, -hoo 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 -hoo. all right, okay. Something extra. That's all that. Uh, so we'll start at the top of our list. So, Angler's Hall is a subscription uh, company just like uh, Mystery Tackle Box, Bait Crate, all of those. Uh, difference being where those focus on your soft plastics, hard baits, um, terminal tackle. Uh, Angler's Hall focuses on the utilitarian items, the, the, uh, the knives, the jackets, the, hunt, the, the materials that you're going to need for going out and going fishing. Not just the stuff that gets you the fish in the boat, but the stuff you need on your boat to go get the fish. Um, so we're going to start off. They do occasionally throw in, of course, baits, and our first item is indeed a bait. Um, I'm not going to say that this value is accurate, just uh, off what this line reads, but, uh, you know, to each their own. First item from Arbogast is the Triple Threat, which I've seen in many stores, including Walmarts. Uh, they have it for $8.99, and what this is, is an Arbogast bait companies. Um, they give you a hula popper. This one's the G70, or excuse me, G770 hula popper in Coach Dog with or Orange Belly. They give you a Jitterbug in black and a Jitterbug in the Frog with White Belly. So you get two Jitterbugs and a hula popper in your box right there so you got you know the three well the two presentations really but you'll have your white belly color with the frog top pattern that's inconsequential uh, mostly you're looking for your white belly which is what the, the fish are going to look at staring up uh, you got your black belly for dirtier water give you that shadow um, a less overcast day uh, a bright sunny day you're going to want to go with uh, with black <clears throat> and then you've got your hula popper for the noise and disruption and that definitely catches fish. Eight ninety nine. They're saying for this. That mm, that's iffy. I've seen those in bargain bins for a lot less. Next, Booyah's Toad Runner Junior. Definitely right around the corner for top water. Got yourself a Booyah Toad Runner. They've got this at eleven dollars and ninety nine cents for the Booyah Toad Runner. Uh, yeah, again, that's not an accurate price in my perception. I think. It's uh, a little bit overpriced. You do get your backup um, plopping uh, tail that just screws onto the screw lock keeper. Um, so that's good. That's $11.99, their, their price, uh, their retail listing. Next, something I do agree is the right price. So you got Yozuri's 15 pound braid. Uh, I've gotten this before in other boxes. Not this much. Uh, normally I get a 50 or 60 yard pack. This is a full 150 yards of Yozori brand in the moss green. 
Uh, this is their 15 pound braid. That's awesome. I can definitely use more braid. Uh, I do fish braid to leader, so I'll go, you know, braid backed, and then I'll go for, you know, either a mono or a fluorocarbon leader or straight braid, depending on what my application is. So you can never go wrong with having more line, <clears throat> especially as line gets old and wears. That's a good tip. Right now it's spring. We've already had our, we had our pre spawn, but you might be switching over to a little bit more um, aggressive bait fishing. Uh, you know, you're going to want to double check all of your line that you've had on all winter season. Now you've, you've played out your, your pre-bass or pre-spawn bass period. Now you want to change that line out or at least adjust to make sure that your line is uh, strong, doesn't have nicks, abrasions, hasn't been destroyed, destroyed by the sun, etc. $13.99, they price the 15-pound braid. I think that's about accurate. Uh, Groove's Tungsten Vault. So this is awesome from Groove. Groove Fishing, they have all of their awesome little um, uh, cases for storing things, terminal tackle, jigs. Uh, I've got one for my, uh, for my rattle traps, my lipless cranks. Um, this one here is their vault for their tungsten weights. So, you get a picture of what this is. Peel off the protective plastic. So you've got another awesome little Groove sticker. This proprietary little uh, plasticky kind of rubber uh, silicone interior, and you just plop all your different size tungsten weights. You know, you got your 3 16 your quarter ounce, your half ounce, and these little pins, you can just pop your weights right into it, and they suction kind of secure in there. And once they're in there, they won't rattle around, they won't bang up against each other. Um, you know, you can use this for lead weights too. You don't have to just put tungsten in there. Uh, but obviously you can get a lot more tungsten in this box than you could lead because size uh, versus mass. A tungsten weight has more mass for its size as opposed to a lead weight, which is a lot lighter for, for the same size. So it's almost twice as big to have a lead weight for the same volume mass, same weight as a tungsten weight. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's awesome. That's definitely a keeper. And I do love a lot of these groove baits. I mean, these are awesome for your, your backpack, uh, you know, <clears throat> your backpack bank fisherman or your milk crate, you know, tackle, um, um, you know, uh, kayak fisherman. Um, they're small and compact. They fit nicely in the different ways to store and they're, they're really well designed in how they, they eliminate a lot of the excess you're not going to need to store a good volume of day-to-day -day stuff and not have like, you know, huge planos everywhere. So that's awesome. They market that, the Groove Tungsten Vault, is $19.99, that's 100% accurate. I know I know the price on that is, is, uh, is reasonable there. And of course, to go with this, a Woo Tungsten's Quarter Ounce Never Chip Flipping Weight Pack. So, that's not this. <laughs> All right, we've got uh, Woo Tungsten, so you got three, a three pack, of tungsten quarter ounce uh, flipping weights. So if you're flipping into um, cover coming up, you got toolies, you got the, you know eelgrass, or you know here in Jersey you got some lily pads in your local little frogging pond. You got your little uh, you know tungsten bullet weights, and they've got that nice bullet head uh, design. And well, I'm here might as well. So all you do, just toss these guys right inside your little tungsten keeper. So now all you got to do, when you want your tungsten weight, you just go in, you just pick that sucker right out, and you're ready to go. So that's awesome. Uh, I'm going to fill this up, obviously, with tungsten and, uh, you know, and lead because I don't have just tungsten. I like to go for different things depending on what I'm fishing and how I'm fishing. Uh, that Wu Tungsten's the quarter ounce three pack they've got for seven dollars and forty nine cents. Pro value is sixty two dollars and forty five cents. For about forty five bucks, you're getting about forty or uh, sixty three dollars worth of product um, by their price uh, assessment. Now for my package, because I go to the higher tier at one hundred and ten dollars. Uh, I'm getting a 1-3 Fishings Defy Black Spinning Rod. That's this guy right here. So that's awesome. So again, 
when you go to the pro tier, you don't just get, you know, some baits and some terminal tackle and some uh, occasional apparel, hats and gloves and things like that. But you do end up very often, and it's not just the advanced, uh, even the general um, pro box tier can get things like reels and rods. In fact, um, in December, I have it up here, in fact, in December, uh, they shipped out, I didn't get mine until January, but in December, um, they did ship out a reel, a 13 Fishings reel, uh, spinning reel, um, and now I've got a 13 Fishings spinning rod. So this is the Defy Black. This is a 6 foot 7 medium light fast action. It runs 4 to 8 pound line and it fishes a 1 16 ounce lure all the way up to a 3 8 ounce lure. Now, a little bit of information. When they say it fishes 4 to 8 pound line, you don't really, really want to put 8 pound line on it. You certainly don't really want to put 10 or 12 or 16 or 50 pound braid or something like that. Typically what you want to go for is whatever those markings are, whatever they're telling you this blank will support, go in the medium. Go in the center. Find your mid, your mid range. So four to, four to eight, I would run a six pound line. Six pound mono, six pound braid. Um, that's all I would use on it. It's a medium, you know, like I said, it's a medium light. It's not a heavy or medium heavy. So uh, for that, you know, just be cognizant because if you're not, you can easily break this rod. Uh, they market this, and it says it right there on the 13 Fishings tag. This is $59.99, so a $60 rod. So right there, that's basically half of my, um, it's more than half of my investment. It's just this rod. So now I got a rod that pretty much pays for my package. In fact, I think between this and the uh, and the tungsten holder, the, the the groove tungsten vault, I think that's that's well worth the hundred bucks that I uh, that I put in. Um, you know, with a couple of little bobbles to make up for my investment. I think that's awesome. Next, Outdoor Edge Real Flex Filet Knife. So, that's this guy here. So we got a nice little filet knife. Or I shouldn't say little, relatively long filet knife. Um, this is a 9.5 inch blade. Yep, 9.5 inch blade. It weighs about 4.5 ounces. And... I want to see what kind of stainless. Non-slip, TPR handle. Okay, 9.5 inch fillet knife. Let's see if they list what the steel is. Uh, comes with a little plastic sheath, double tempered blade, uh, textured handle, no rot polypropylene, so it's a polypropylene sheath. Um, it does not say that this is a floating knife. And it doesn't say if it is surgical stainless or not. But it does say that it's double tempered. So I'm going to assume that it's not surgical stainless steel. Uh, but it's a tempered steel uh, blade. Nevertheless, you know, a free fillet knife. Uh, keep it on the boat. Keep it in your kayak. Keep it in your trunk of your car for cutting rope. Um, anytime I get some, something free, I, I find utilitarian uses for it. Even though I have my own... Uh, you know, utility knives uh, and fishing knives. I have a fillet knife uh, that I use more regularly than this, and I have my grandfather's uh, hand-me-down fillet knife um, that I, I, you know, it's got sentimental value. So I use that more often than anything when I'm filleting fish. Uh, for that, this is a twenty-seven dollar and ninety-nine cent uh, buy. So twenty-seven ninety-nine for the fillet knife, fifty-nine ninety-nine again for that for that uh, thirteen fishings to five black uh, medium light spinning rod. And finally, to top off my uh, my advanced pack, and it goes right along with that spinning rod. I have a TRC spinning rod cover. So we all know what these are. These are little rod socks. Um, I have other brands. Let's see what this is. Uh, I'll put this right up there with the other brand. I like these. I have one that's a little bit heavier duty than this. But I like it when they, when they fold this down and then they put some sort of rubber or plastic over the tip that gives rigidity to the tip because if you're storing this in your car and your truck and it slides around in the bed and it bumps up against the back of your truck bed or in the back of a seat in the car or what have you, um, this is going to add some cushion so you're not breaking off your rod tip while allowing this bowl here to, uh, to fit over the rod tip. It's got a nice bell on, uh, on this side for, uh, you know, for, for easily pulling in and pulling out your rod for slipping it in that hole and pulling it out on the fly, especially if you've missed uh, a bass on the, uh, you know, on your, on your spin, on your 
bait casting reel and you know you're pitching and flipping and it just didn't get and you want to throw in real quick with a quick drop shot or some finesse rig um, you know you can pull this out real quick and, and throw your spinning rod out and and try to get that bass to commit this is their large size obviously so uh, that's gonna go very well with this uh, yep six seven I think it was six seven yep six seven so I think that's a good buy too uh, these are these are not a huge item um, Again, this one, where did I put the card? I lost the card that fast. I did, I lost the card that fast. Oh, whatever it is. Oh, behind me. Uh, $13.99. I think that's a little bit over, overzealous. Uh, you can get these pretty much nine, ten bucks. Um, I will say, I like a tighter weave. I like, I like that they're open pour because it allows the ventilation and the wind and the air on the boat or what have you to wick so you're not leaving a lot of moisture on your on your rod but at the same time I like a little tighter weave that if you do put your rod in with a treble hook bait on it it doesn't it's not so apt to get uh, hung up and caught on this flapping around um, but other than that rod socks are awesome so with all that said my advanced tier comes to a total value for all the items that I got this month pseudo last month is $164.42 so $109.99 investment $165 return not bad not bad um, all things considered now I left a little Easter egg in here I gave until today the first of May for my 500 subscriber giveaway to get in contact with me with Facebook or with uh, you know I left my, my Gmail uh, address he did not. He did not. I did. I, I made it. You know, I made attempts to kind of course him to kind of look in, and I really wanted that 500 subscriber giveaway to go somebody who was an adamant viewer, uh, a con, you know, who would check in and see things and would be like, "Oh, I won! Yay!" You know. But unfortunately, you know, again with COVID and everybody's lives and him having his own channel and and focusing on making his own content, he just didn't notice. So for that Easter egg, it's been sitting here. Uh, I'm going to pick a different winner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go upstairs uh, a little later. I'm going to go on the random number generator, be or random comment picker, uh, before I post this. And I'm going to pick a new winner. And then I'm going to make a little quick video and uh, announce who that is. So congratulations uh, again for Too Fat to Fish Outdoors. Uh, sadly, without contacting me, I gave you, you know, 30 days, uh, give or take, and... Uh, it is what it is. I said I would push it on to the next person, and that's what I'm going to do. So one of the commenters from that 500 subscriber giveaway congratulations video will be chosen, and that commenter will now be the winner of this, uh, of this gift of all the, the Whopper Plopper with the custom um, logo from Martis Lures, uh, the little coffee mug, and all the other goodies and, and little dibbles that I threw in there, along with that $50 cash gift card, uh, that Visa gift card. So whoever that is, when I go upstairs, uh, congratulations to you. Uh, I'll catch you on the next video, and I'll catch the rest of you on the next cast. Uh, peace, Hookaholics.